robot and I bet you're probably wondering what's on my screen right now instead of a moderate Google homepage. Well, this came by an extension called Tabby Cat and you get a new friend in each tab, a small friend. There. I explained all about this Tabby Cat extension in my first video. You can check it out. And so, but today, I am going to talk about a programming site which kids and adults both can use. And if you are wondering to become a programmer, this is the first step of programming. That is Scratch. Scratch.mit.edu. Why am I always logged in? Right? One message. Okay, I'll explain you all about this. So you can join Scratch if you don't have. You sign in. I have one there. Um. There. There. Okay, so this is the home page. Here you can check out all your messages. The first message will be uh, Welcome to Scratch. After you make projects and comments, you'll get messages about them here. Go explore or make a project. So First, if you're a child, you need adult permission to do this. But if you have your own Gmail, you're lucky like me. Actually, honestly, I've got two Gmail accounts. One which I'm making this video right now, which is Daybot, and one with my real name. So, I did it with the Daybot. And so, I gave myself permission to give comments. I can show you that. I got that message. Look there. show you I got the message what the heck I again Wait. my mother just posted me a message oh okay anyway Too bad I left it on. I now I swear I will never leave my Gmail logged in again. I will never, never, never. Okay. So here, uh, where can that be? Updates. I think it's an updates. Okay, no. Updates is done better and all. Promotions. Not this. Not this. Then where do I get it? Where did Scratch give me, give me the message? Ah, there, 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 there. Yeah, you get this type of message. I accepted it. You can just click on the button and there you go. And there here what I've got. Let me just first check the new message. Face puppy. Anyway, where's my new message then? Dad, 
WSC whatsoever. So let me start off. Make your account. Click on that, my stuff. And then click on the new project. Let it load. There we have got. Now, let me explain all this to you from the basics. So, this is a cat. That is the default sprite. Okay. Scratch dictionary. Let me see. Oh wait, you can't see the notepad, right? I know you can't see the notepad. Scratch dictionary. A sprite is a character like this. That's a character in my film. Let's say I'm making a film. I already have a film here. Let me show you my film. Yeah, that's my film. I made my sound wrong. My sound's very low, you may not be able to hear it, so... Here's my film. This is the character in the film, and this is the background the character is doing in the film. So there you go. <laughs> this cat just bouncy bouncy on the bed. This cat is just bouncy bouncy on the bed. And it means. So that's all. Shed. Eleven v sixteen. Okay. So there. Nom 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 nom. There's your character. Which is a good character. First, let me delete that character. Okay, Annie, which character do you want? Oh, you want the balloon? Okay. And Annie, which person do you want to hold the balloon? Oh, Abby? Okay. There. So, Annie, my friend, chose all this. Let me make Abby small. That's too big. Abby shouldn't be so big. Why is she so tall? Let's make a 10. <laughs> Just look at that at the screen. Okay, come on, Abby. Do you at least be 50? Okay, but the balloon is way huger than Abby, so Abby should be 70. Okay. But the balloon is too big. So the balloon should also be the size of Abby. Okay, the balloon. <laughs> there. Perfecto. Well, there we go, mini characters. Now here, you do all the coding. Now I've selected the balloon. Now I've selected the Abby. Here you do all the programming where the balloon needs and here, all the programming Abby needs. So here Abby will do nothing. Nothing by I mean nothing. Only what will happen is the balloon, wherever I keep the balloon, I drag it there or there. First the balloon will automatically in a second come to Abby's hand and then it will slowly move up in the sky as a helium balloon. Like that. So let me do it. So balloon one, motion. First, ah, yeah, these. This flag is to start a project and this stop is to stop a project. Go, stop. So, events. When green flag clicked. Okay, now here are the coordinates. This is the y axis the up down is the y axis and the left right is the x axis so like if i move the balloon down look what will happen to the y axis 
X axis will be somewhere near 168 because obviously my hand will shake a little bit. See, 168, 165, but the Y in decrease drastically. Look again what will happen here. Now X will change drastically because I moved it in the X axis. So, now what we want is the balloon to go right down into the Abby's hand. So, I need to locate the coordinate of Abby's hand. How do I do that? Obviously, I can't go do all the possible coordinates. That's impossible. So, what I'll do, I'll just drag the balloon down to the Abby's hand. Perfecto. And there's the coordinates. X is minus 17, Y is minus 100. And, well, as a surprise for you, wherever that sprite is, that automatically comes. So, wherever it is, first it will go to the Abby's hand, which is that coordinate. And then, it will glide. I mean, it will slowly, slowly go up. That is gliding in Scratch. It will slowly go up for two seconds. And after two seconds, I want to see the balloon there. Exactly where it is now. So, I put glide one second to x minus 11, y minus 132. Let's see. So, I put the balloon there. Flag. Oh, wait. I said two seconds, right? Yeah. Now, look. Ha. First, what it does is when the flag is clicked, it goes to that coordinate, minus 17, minus 100. Minus 17. Minus 100. Let's see. There. It goes there. And then, it slowly, slowly goes up. And after 2 seconds, it will automatically, I mean, it will slowly go up in a uniform speed. And after 2 seconds, it will be in this coordinate. Minus 11. And 132. 132. Which is there. Simple. Now, what is the helium balloon so big? Enough big. Now the helium balloon so big that it can carry the tiny Abby. There. A huge helium balloon versus Abby. So here the coordinates have changed a little bit. So first the balloon will go there. And then it will like 2 seconds to I need to slowly do it or else it will go back down. It will glide slowly to there, which is that. One second to this is slowly to five seconds because it's got a big Abby on it. So, now what do we do? Now the helium balloon will go up. It's going up. But the Abby is stuck on the ground. So what we now need to do is make Abby follow the balloon wherever the balloon is going. So, we need to go to Abby. When flag clicked, forever, motion in motion, uh, I'll teach you this later in a second. And, uh, Go to random position. So now, instead of following the balloon, it will, when flag click, it will forever go to random positions. We don't want that. App, whenever flag is clicked, Abby is going to go to random positions forever. We don't want that. We want Abby to follow the balloon. So follow balloon one. Hmm. Something's wrong here. 
Let's see if this works. Oh, dude. What the? Oh! The flag was still clicked, so it was forever going to follow the new one. Now let's see if it works. Nope! So there's something wrong here. We can't use this script. Bye bye, RIP. Instead of redoing the coordinates, I can just position it much better. So, now what? We can't follow the balloon one, so we need to do something different. Let's see what we need to do. The balloon is gliding 5 seconds to this coordinate. So, the Abby can also glide. Where's the balloon gliding? Let me see. So the app we can also glide 5 seconds to here. Ain't I right? But first, Abby needs to stay here. I need to chill quiet. Okay, no. The balloon's launching from Abby's head. Much better. So first, Abby needs to go here, wherever she is. So, go there. And then, let me see where the balloon will end up. Right there, right? So, the Abby should end up there. So, Abby should glide 5 seconds to there. Let me see if this works. Ah! Abby's going up with the balloon! So, actually this is just following the balloon. Abby started here with a balloon in her hand like that. Abby also ended here with a balloon in her hand like that. And both traveled for the same time. At the same speed. So, they're typically following each other. There we go. You've got a simple balloon carrying a human up in the...